Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to finish opening up that Goodwill blue box, that five pound repurposed jewelry box from South Hackensack, New Jersey. But before we continue with part two, I wanted to share with you this box that I received from Kristen D. Kristen D. offers these boxes for sale every month. It's part of her monthly jewelry box subscription service where you subscribe for $30 a month and you get a box filled with six pieces of quality pieces of jewelry. And these pieces of jewelry you can either choose to resell or keep for yourself or give them away as gifts. I think it's just a wonderful idea to treat yourself. And since uh, my birthday is coming up, I thought it would be a nice gift to gift myself. So let's open this up and see what we have. And first off, look at this really cute packaging. Lovely purple color and all these mermaids and starfish. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. And I want to say congratulations to Kristen D on her wedding and actually getting to celebrate it. So I hope you had a wonderful time this weekend and got to celebrate your marriage with your friends and family. So let's open this up. Okay. Oops. Let's see if I can get this out. Okay, and there's a little card here. Let's see, take that off. So I hope everyone is doing well. Can't believe we're almost at the end of August here. And uh, actually, you'll, it'll be September when this video actually is uploaded. So I can't believe we're in September. Okay. That's so cute! Oh my god! I love this card! That's so awesome! Oh my god! I love cats. Oh, thank you, Kristen. So cute. Definitely gonna keep this card. Oh, so cute. And she wrote a lovely note inside. Okay, so let's open it up and see what we have in here. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, so it's sealed. So let me try and open this up so you can see what's in it. Okay. Wow. This is so nice. Okay. So the first piece in the box is this 2028 and I love 1928 jewelry. And I believe 2028 is their um, another brand that 1928 or sub brand that they do. And these are gorgeous. Really pretty studs. Love that. Beautiful. Love that. So this is looking really nice. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, I see some bangles. These are lovely. Wow, they're enameled. And this one's really pretty. It's got this yellow kind of marbleized sparkly look to it. And it goes really nice with this black one. And these look like Monet, and they are. Wow, these are nice. I love these, so cute. Okay, let's see what else we have. And I'm not sure um, I'm gonna resell any of these pieces. Um, but if you are interested in anything you see here, you can feel free to reach out to me to ask me if I am. But, um, yeah, I, I definitely want to keep some of these. These are gorgeous. Oh, this is just so fun. Look at this. So cute. It has this shell leaf, like a mother of pearl. And this looks like jade, like a little Buddha. And I'm not sure what this is, but this feels cold to the touch. There's this little butterfly and silver tone and this is a lucky brand wow nice i really like lucky brand jewelry and that's a nice one 
that. Really nice. Okay, so far I'm loving this box. Okay, and next we have oh a nice silver tone chain and this looks like a Napier. Yes, it is a Napier. Oh, I love Napier chains and Trafari chains and Monet chains. But this one is a really nice silver tone one. Look how beautiful that is. The way it sparkles and shimmers. Beautiful. And I actually have some pendants that I would love to put on this chain. That's really nice. Very beautiful. Oh. And, you know, I just started getting back into buying blue boxes. And I'm still not sold on them 100%, even though this box is pretty good. But it's just nice to receive beautiful jewelry in great condition like this. And not have to deal with tangles or anything like that. Oh my god, this is an amazing piece, guys. Look at this. I can't even give you the, show you the scale on this. This is an amazing piece of jewelry. And this is by Chico's, and it's convertible. I wonder what that means. Um, but this was, wow, look at that. That was originally $59 marked down to 40 bucks. And, okay, let me see if I can show you. So the top of it has this lobster clasp. And then it has these two strands of these amazing balls of seed beads. Wow, that is just gorgeous. I'm not sure how you can convert this, but maybe, wait, it has two lobster clasps here. So I always get confused by these necklaces that have two um, lobster clasps. But I think you can do some pretty amazing things with this. Um, let me see if I can figure this out on camera. Oh, wow. So yeah, I think you can, you know, wear them one, you know, you can wear one strand, or you can wear two, or you can double them up, or you can just link them. I mean, I think this is an awesome necklace. Oh my god, I love Chico's. And Chico's sells really well for me on my Poshmark. And this is a beautiful one. Looks so organic. Almost looks like corn. <laughs> so I love that. Okay. And then, let's see. I think there's just one more piece. And let's open this guy. It's in a ring. It's a ring. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Wow, this almost looks like a Victorian ring. Um, and it is marked. It's an Avon. I love Avon jewelry. And that is really nice. And it doesn't fit my small fingers. <laughs> but I definitely will gift this to somebody or sell that because that's gorgeous. Beautiful ring. So let's review the pieces. So we have this ring, then we have this lovely Chico's necklace, two, and then three, we have the Lucky Brand Buddha Charm necklace, and then five, we have the two Monet bangles, and then six, we have lovely 2028 earrings so this was just wonderful and I definitely will subscribe for a few months at least I mean you don't have to commit to a full year you can cancel um, after one month or after several months or you can cancel and then resubscribe whenever you want that's the beauty of her subscription service you're not tied into it so I'm definitely going to subscribe again next month because that's my birthday month and um, I'll probably do it until December at least because um, I definitely want to have gifts to give away to my friends and family. And um, I love the fact that a lot of her jewelry is new with tags. So there's actually two pieces here that are new with tags and then there's vintage here, which I love to receive. So, I mean, you definitely can subscribe to this box, you know, for Christmas and have some Christmas gifts to give away and some to keep for yourself. So. so 
definitely check out Kristen D's subscription box service because I think it's pretty pretty darn good deal. For 30 bucks you get this and this includes shipping. That's pretty awesome. And it's nice to receive something unexpected in your box and especially when it's jewelry because jewelry always makes me happy. So okay guys. So thanks again Kristen and let's move on to part two of that Goodwill blue box from South Hackensack, New Jersey. Okay guys, so I must say that the pins that came out of this Goodwill blue box were pretty amazing. So here's a preview of what I found in this blue box from South Hackensack, New Jersey. And um, okay, let's go through them. So the first pin out of the box is this beautiful ribbon pin. It's gold tone and has these red rhinestones. But if you notice, it's missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rhinestones. But this is marked Boucher, and it even has this little tag here that says not returnable if removed. And it was from the store Lord and Taylor, which I don't even know exists anymore. I believe they um, closed their stores, at least the ones in New York. So, and it's a pin. And it's really pretty. Let me see if I can open this. And the pin works. And there's the mark Boucher. See that? Oops, wrong way. Sorry, guys. There we go. Boucher. And I believe that these pins, at least um, the Boucher pins that I've seen on eBay, go for quite a lot. And even the ones with missing stones. So. I think I'm going to hang on this onto this for a little bit and um, do a little more research and see what I can find out about it. But this is a beautiful pin. So we have that. And next we have this lovely pin. And it's gold tone and it almost looks like little flames or teardrops or waves. And it's just really a nice pin. I'm not even sure which way you would wear it. Maybe this way, or possibly that way, or the other way. I'm not sure, but it's a really lovely pin. And this one is not marked. No, it's not marked. But it is in beautiful condition and really lovely. So we have that pin. Okay, and next we have an American flag and Italian flag pin. And this one does not have a mark, but it's really nice. I don't, yeah, this is magnetic, so it's not precious metals. That's a fun little pin. So we have that. Okay, next we have these two little rhinestone pins, and they're just two pins. Um, not sure how you would wear these, but these look really old and vintage. And they're domed. They're really cute. I don't know, you can stack them up. Not sure, but they're really nice and they're pretty. Let's see, this is the back of them. Really pretty rhinestone pins. A pair of them. So those were a nice find. And then we have this lovely pin, which it's a flower. And I love the design and the leaves, this open work. And I have this cluster of pearls, which look to be all in good condition. There is some glue and some dirt, but still quite lovely. And I love the design and the curved leaves. And this is surprisingly not marked. Nope, that's the back of it. 
it's not marked, but it is a beautiful pin. That is just gorgeous. So we have that. Okay, and then next we have this little doggy pin. It's like a Scotty dog, and he's really cute. <laughs> he's teeny, super teeny tiny. Um, let me get my ruler out here, tape measure. He's only an inch. He's so cute. Look at that, and he's got little brown spots here. He's got a red eye, and he's silver. Um, he does have some wear on his ear here, if you can see, um, but it's not too bad. It's a little yellow there, um, but he's in great condition, I think. And on the back, he's marked Hong Kong. And let's see, and it has a, I believe this is a C clasp. So I think this is a really old piece, guys. Could be wrong. Or it could be from the 50s, right? Or sometime there. But look at his little tail. Look how gorgeous he is. That's a cute pin. I like him a lot. So we have him. And then, let's see. Continuing on the critter, we have this lovely rabbit. And my Chinese zodiac sign is the rabbit. And I would keep him, but I am not a big fan of rabbits. And this, in terms of um, scary looking rabbits or rabbit masks, because I always think of the movie Donnie Darko, if you've ever seen that. Uh, yeah, not a big fan of rabbit masks. <laughs> and this looks like a rabbit mask to me. It's got an open mouth. It's got these beautiful green eyes and these AB rhinestones that which are all there but he does have some wear on the side of, of his face right here you can see that you can see the gold plating has come off and what else is going on with this guy besides that I mean there's some wear here on his whiskers wait is this a cat I think this is a cat not a bunny Okay, guys, <laughs> so I don't think this is a bunny rabbit. <laughs> I think this is a cat because he has whiskers. Sometimes you just can't tell with these critters, but I think this is a cat, and that makes me want to keep him, but I will not. Um, but he is gorgeous, <laughs> and but he's got wear all, all throughout, even the back here. You see the gold plating coming off. I don't know if the lighting shows, you can see, but yeah, there's gold plating coming off throughout, but he is in good looking condition. And yeah, he's not marked, but it's fabulous. That is a fabulous cat. <laughs> so we have him. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to let him go. I'm not going to keep him because I thought he was a, um, a cat, uh, a bunny. So now we have a cat that I know for sure is a cat. And this one's just gorgeous. It looks very retro to me, this cat. It looks almost like those um, Margaret Keene cats that are in Margaret Keene, the artist. She does those big eye cat or big eye girl paintings from the 60s, I believe. So it kind of reminds me of that. Um, and it's just a cute little kitten. And it's got all the rhinestones on its bow. Oh, actually, I think it's missing one rhinestone there. You can see at the end. And it's got this nice gold tone kind of coppery wash to him. I'd say he's a gold tone. Kind of like a dark gold and this is the back of him and he's got some wear in there you can see there and throughout the back and let's see if the pin works it does it's in good condition gorgeous little cat pin and i am tempted to keep him so if he's up for sale i will offer a price down below if not 
I think I'm gonna hold on to him and maybe do a catch and release later because he's just so adorable. Okay, and next we have this little pin and it looks like an angel pin. And I don't know if you can see, but there's like two little children here looking off on a railing and then there's an angel looking after them. So that's a really sweet pin. And this is the back of it and it's not marked. I don't think I tested this, but yeah, this one is magnetic. Really lovely. So we have that. Then next we have this glass faceted pin. It's gorgeous. It has a nice weight to it. And look how sparkly that is. That's just lovely. And this is the back of it. And let's see if this clasp works. And it does. It's really good. There's no wear on this. It's a little dusty, but really pretty. Love that. Beautiful pin. Okay. And then next we have this pin, which is a leaf pin. And it is marked Sterling by Jewel Art. You can see that. And it's a really pretty pin. And I did test this for sterling, and it is. And it's really nice, really cute leaf pin. Love the patina on this guy. I would not remove that if I were keeping it, but that's just me. Okay. And then next we have this little bar pin. Really pretty. It has these little rhinestones, and they're all there. And this one is not marked. It's just really sweet and dainty. And the pin works. It's lovely. Let's see how pretty that is. So we have that pin. Okay. And then next we have this beautiful leaf pin and it's gold tone, and there is some, a little bit of a, I don't know what you would call that, a little cracking there. I don't know if you can see that on the interior of the leaf by the stem, but it's in great condition otherwise. I don't see a lot of um, gold plating wear on it, and this one is marked Coro. 1961. How cool is that? That this pin is that old. Wow. Just gorgeous. Beautiful gold tone pin. And I could see this on a beret or on a jacket. I feel like wearing blazers or on a sweater or a denim jacket. That's just really cool looking. Love that. Okay. Oh, and we have another critter. So here's a beautiful deer and her little baby. And it's so cute. Um, just so precious. And this mother deer is this black matte color painted. While this one's deer is very shiny and gold. And there is some wear here. I think the black paint chipped off of his ear, and there's a little paint chip mark here, and on his leg, on her leg. But overall, it's in pretty good condition, I think. Um, and it is not marked, and it looks like it has a C clasp here. I don't know if this is older or newer, but it is a gorgeous pin and just so sweet. Look at this. That's just a sweet pin. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, so we have that. And then we have this lovely pin. 
and it's a flower brooch and it's got this open work on the leaves with all of these AB coated rhinestones. I think they're AB coated. No, they're um I don't know, they're just faceted gray stones. Almost look like marcasite even. Really pretty and shiny. And this is the back of it. And I don't believe this one to be marked. No, but it has a little loop here for if you want to wear this as a pendant. So you could definitely do that with a set of pearls. You could do that. It would look lovely. Or you could wear it as a pin. And this pin works as well. So that's really beautiful. I really love that. Gorgeous. Okay. And then next we have this gorgeous beauty. It's this gold tone pin. And it's got brush gold on the leaves and on the stems. And then this flower part where the petals are are this beautiful wire wrapped flower. It's beautiful and it has these blue little stones here. They look like glass to me, like a Swarovski type crystal. Really beautiful turquoise, almost Tiffany blue, Robin eggs blue. Very beautiful color combination there. And this one is not marked, surprisingly, but it's just gorgeous. And we have this really tight clasp here, so that's great. And that's just pretty. That's just a beautiful pin. Okay, and then next we have this lovely, beautiful pin. And this almost looks like Art Nouveau to me, the way that the, the leaves curve here. And we've got that intricate open work detailing, it's kind of like scroll work. And these rhinestones look to be AB coated, really kind of like a milky white rhinestone. And this one is marked. And this one's marked LC, so this is Liz Claiborne. See that? So this is a Liz Claiborne pin. And let's see if I can open this clasp. And this one's a really tight one too, so that's really nice. I can get that out. Yep, it's working. And that's really lovely. Really pretty pin love that. Okay, and then we have this little gold tone pin, and it's a circle pin, and it's pretty. It's very plain, and I have a lot of these actually, and some with like pearls on it, and just a nice little pin, simple pin. Love that. And then we have sweater clip, which I think I'm going to keep this one because I don't have any sweater clips, believe it or not. This is my first one I found in all of these boxes, and I wear a lot of cardigans, so <laughs> I will definitely be keeping this and trying out um, these sweater clips and see if I like wearing them. But, um, definitely great time to receive one in time for fall weather on the East Coast. And it's beautiful. It has these mother of pearl um, ovals here and these pearls and chains. Love that. Very cute. Let me know guys, do you wear sweater clips? I think they're so cute. I've seen some really pretty ones and this is the first one I've had so I'm very excited. Okay guys, so we have only a few more and I want to show you this one. This is amazing. This is a beautiful bow pin and it has some hair attached to it. But it's beautiful, not only in its design, but look at this, guys. It is marked. Oops. It is marked here. 
you can see, we can show you. I don't know if I can. It's so shiny. It is marked 18K. Believe it or not, this little guy. marked 18k and then it has like a little number here which I'm not sure what that's about so I'll need to do some research on that so and that's pretty awesome and it did test um, positive for 18k sure so I will need to do some research on this guy but that is a beautiful find for sure and there are a couple of more amazing finds here that I will show you this guy. And this one's really pretty. And I don't know if this is cold to the touch. It does feel, I think this is plastic. It's hard to tell when it's hot, but it has these AB rhinestones here and this beautiful filigree work around it. It's gold tone. There's a little gold fading here, gold plated fading. And uh, the clasp still works. It's a little bit crooked here, but still in working condition. Very lovely. Almost looks like a, I don't know, like a red jasper. Pretty. So we have that. And then we have this pin, which is beautiful. It's got these three oval chain links. And this one is marked see if you can see guys I don't know if you can oops it's the wrong way Christian Dior so it says Chris Dior or CHR dot Dior so this is a really lovely find guys and it's in great condition there is some scratching on the surface here yeah, there definitely is some scratching throughout, but it's in still great condition. And the clasp works. Very lovely Christian Dior pen. That's a great find. And then we have this pen, which is a lovely brooch, and it's yellow, and it's, I don't know if this is enamel or resin. It's really pretty yellow color there and this amber colored rhinestone and you can see some of the foil on the back is missing yeah you can see some of the foil definitely is missing on the back there but I don't think it really detracts from it I think it gives it a little character in my book and this one is not marked and this is the back of it And let's see if this one works. It does. Really tight closure there too. Really good condition. Beautiful color. Love that pin. Okay. Last but not least, we have this pin. And this is really interesting. It says Westminster. And then it says second year, SS. Second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year, seventh year, eighth year. So I don't know if this is a pin that you got at school, but, and the back it says little system. So I wonder if this is grades one through eight, not sure, but it's so cool. And I tested this and surprisingly it came out sterling, which is weird because it doesn't really look like sterling to me. So I will hold on to this and do a little more research and find out what I can find out about this because this is really an interesting pin. I'm sure maybe students wore this on their um, little blazers, right? In their uniforms. How cute is that? Okay, so we had that. So guys, so that was all of the pins. I think we did pretty good. I mean, I'm so surprised. Um, this is my first blue box 
since, I don't know, I think since April or March, and I'm pretty impressed. Let me know, guys, what you think so far of what, uh, what I found in this box. But if you're interested in craft items, please stick around, because there are some really interesting pieces there, too. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the craft. And I'll just show you some items here. We have this beautiful necklace. And these feel, I don't know if ceramic or some type of glass. And really pretty. And it has this ribbon. But this will be a dollar. And then we have these beautiful. And I believe these to be howlite or some type of glass, but I think these are howlite because I can see the, the fake veining in here. And that will be a dollar too. Then we have this little butterfly pin, but unfortunately the clasp here is broken. The little lever here is missing. So that will be a dollar too. And this can easily be converted into a necklace. I'm putting two chains here, maybe two jump rings or threading your chains through the open work here. So that's a dollar. Then we have this heart chain and it's got a lot of wear on it, but it's still pretty. Somebody could definitely craft with these and this will be a dollar as well. Okay, and then we have this Madewell ring, and this is just glass, I believe. It's pretty beat up throughout, but it does have the M there for Madewell. I don't know if you can see that. But a uh, cute ring. That'll be a dollar. Then we have this beautiful pendant, circular, circular pendant. It's got the engraving here, and it has a lovely magnetic clasp. This is a Premier Designs. But it's got a lot of wear and some verdigris here is some wear, some verdigris throughout. So that'll be a dollar. Then we have these earrings, which it's missing one of the little matching silver wires there. So this will be a dollar. Then we have this little cameo pin which is really beautiful. And unfortunately it's broken here and cracked on the side. And the pin works otherwise, it's really beautiful still. And you hardly notice it when it's on, I think. So I think this will be a dollar. And we have this little druzy type looking stone with these pearls. It's missing a pearl there. The druzy seems to have been worn down. It looks really interesting. That'll be a dollar. And then we have this shell bracelet. And it's definitely seen better days. But um, it has some nice shells on here. That'll be a dollar. And we have this little peacock guy. And he's gorgeous. But unfortunately he's missing a lot of rhinestones on his body, but he's cute. And the pin is a little messed up here too, but I think if you were able to push that back, it would work. You have to be really careful with that. But yeah, I'm gonna put him in craft because he's missing a lot of things, but beautiful. So that'll be a dollar. So everything in craft is a dollar. We have these beautiful ballet slippers, but they're chipped throughout, and it's a little pin, dollar. And I have this gorgeous necklace, really long silver tone. It has these little hexagons, I believe, and they're faceted. And these are plastic, really pretty. That'll be a dollar. Let's see. And then we have these earrings, really beautiful copper. And I think the only thing wrong with this is that they are missing, this one is missing the end point here. 
but that will be a dollar. And we have these beautiful Brighton earrings, but unfortunately, this one is showing a lot of that silver plate wear that Brighton often does after a while, unfortunately. Um, but they're beautiful, if you don't mind that, or if you can figure out a way to paint that over, or it's hardly noticeable. These will be a dollar. Okay. okay, guys, so this one is a really lovely piece. This is the bottom of it, and it has these tassels, and it's this really old-looking um, brass bar here with these enameled white circles, and this is the top of it, and this is really nice chain. It's really old brass and beautiful, but it's missing one, two, three of these dangles here. Hardly noticeable, probably, and it's by Vendome. So I believe Vendome was a line of Koros, but um, yeah, unfortunately this is not in good condition. So this will be going into craft. And then we have this pin, which is beautiful. It has all these mark, um, AB rhinestones, and unfortunately there's one missing there. There's a few missing on here, 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 and along the top. But this guy is just gorgeous. It almost looks like a bird or a snake coming out of this flower bush here <laughs> and I think it's just beautiful and I don't even notice the rhinestones missing and I'm sure if you have it on nobody's gonna notice so yeah and this one's not marked and this pin here is a little wavy um, but I think yeah it can be bent back quite easily and it's nothing too bad. And it looks more like a bunch of roses instead of a, a serpent coming out of a <laughs> rose bush. But anyway, so there we have that. And that's really pretty. And that looks really old to me. So if you like anything you saw in these videos, again, feel free to email me at girlyorocks at gmail.com if I didn't say that in the beginning. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it, each and every one of you. And um, yeah, I'm nearing that elusive 500 subscribers mark and I will definitely be doing a giveaway and most of all guys be well